So, you want some red plants for your low tech or wild style style tank without needing CO2? Well, here are 5 red aquarium plants that do not need any CO2 injection. Limnophilia hippodidoides. The leaves of this plant are green with a red violet underside. Under ideal conditions, the whole leaf can turn red violet. The difference between hippodidoides and aromatica is that hippodidoides has more leaves per node than aromatica. Hippodidoides has a medium growth rate and light demand, and it can also grow up to 20 to 30 plus centimeters. Red tiger lotus. This is a beautiful plant with leaves ranging from green to red brown. This is a bulb plant and you'll need to bury a third of it into the substrate. Do not plant the entire bulb or it will suffocate and die. The lotus has two kinds of leaf structures. The first grows near the bulb and the other are thin stemmed floating leaves that can span up to two inches. However, if you do not want them or they're shadowing other plants, it is safe to prune those leaves. Red tiger lotus can also grow up to 20 to 30 centimeters and has both a medium growth rate and light demand. Ludwigia Pelustris Super Red you don't need to do much to get this plant to be even remotely red. It is a very easy to care for plant. Pelustris will also create side shoots. However, trimming and replanting it will help it become more denser. If you cannot obtain this plant, you can get the well-known Ludwigia Weapons Rubin. It is essentially the same except Super Red will obviously become more red and has smaller leaves. Pelustris can grow up to 10 to 30 centimeters and has a medium growth rate but with a low light demand. Cryptocoriony Wendy Red this crypt is probably one of the hardiest and easiest to care for crypts. It even thrives in low light settings. Aside from its green variety, Wen T Red produces reddish brown leaves. Just be warned that this plant is still prone to the infamous crypt melt. It has a medium growth rate and a low light demand and can grow up to 10 to 30 centimeters. Altairanthera Reineki. Also known as Scarlet Temple, this plant is a widely available stem plant that features pink to red leaves. It can grow quite high, but you can also use the mini variety for any smaller aquariums. It has both a medium growth rate and light demand, plus it can also grow up to 20 to 30 centimeters. Red Root Floaters This plant is probably my favorite floating plant. Given its name, its roots can become a very pretty shade of red, especially under high lighting. Even more, it can grow little white flowers and fruit, which is a capsule holding seeds. This plant does not do well with any type of flow. It has a medium growth rate and a low light demand. Those are 5 plus 1 red plants that do not require CO2. As always, each and every single one of these will benefit from additional CO2, especially if you're trying to obtain a deeper red coloration. If you do want to use additional CO2, you will need to make sure that it is balanced. Luckily for you, I made a video on that topic that you can click over here.